of route as you got out there. It looked like a, one of the defensive backs had kind of forgotten about you and had to get a little bit too late. Yeah. Is that what happened there? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I guess he just didn't see it coming. But um, as soon as I saw that linebacker come off the edge, I knew it was going to be wide open. And all I knew to do was just get in the end zone afterwards. So Deshaun did his job getting it to me, and I was just pumped as soon as I landed in the end zone. And it was just a really, really cool feeling. You've got some experience against Georgia Tech. Uh, it always seemed to be a, a little bit of a frustrating game. Um, uh, what, what are your thoughts heading, heading into this week to, to, to not have some people like say a down. Uh, we just can't have no drop off. I mean, coming off of a big win from Notre Dame, uh, we got to treat every game the same. So Georgia Tech is a feisty bunch, so we're going to have to go out there and play our best football to win that game. You've got the uh, wins the last couple of weeks, and obviously the weather was horrible last weekend. But any sense of frustration at all within the offense that you guys haven't gotten it rolled with these last few games, kind of like we're used to seeing from you guys? Uh, no, I mean, uh, most of the guys knew that we were going to have to come into the game. We we're going to have to run the ball just because of the conditions of the weather. But um, just like the smile on everybody's face, it was probably the most fun game any of us have ever played in. I know it's the most fun game I've ever played in. Just with the rain and just knowing that all the odds were against us, being the underdog and everything, it's probably the most fun thing for us. We just had a blast out there on Saturday. and um, But none of the guys are disappointed or anything because like, they didn't get to catch the ball or something like that because they knew like mentally that was going to be a running game. So our team just came together and we just dominated the line of scrimmage. Were you surprised how the fans showed up in that ring? That was pro probably like the most unique thing I've ever seen because I, I don't know if I would have been out there in that, that type of weather, but um, it, w it definitely helped us out just having the atmosphere of them being around, creating the, the loudness in the stadium. It definitely helped us out. Uh, when we played uh, Louisville, Coach Sweeney said that they were desperate for a win, but then after that he said that we were desperate for a win. So, I mean, they are in a tight situation being 1-3 and three and we're 4-0, and oh, but the, se or the season starts tomorrow. That's what Coach Sweeney's always says. So it's 0-0. Zero and zero. We're just going to go out there and play our best. What stands out about Georgia Tech's defense? They got a, they got a lot of starters returning. Uh, that's one of the main things. They got a really good linebacker, number 40. He's really quick and physical. Um, but just we stick to our game plan, dominate the line of scrimmage, and hopefully the weather is going to be like it is today, and we're going to be able to go out there and throw the ball. Coach Sweeney seems pretty pleased that you guys, uh, despite that, such the magnitude of the win, it seems like you guys have really had that business as usual mentality coming back on. So you just kind of address that. It seems like there's really no hangover after that victory. Oh yeah, uh, we put the game to bed yesterday morning, and uh, we're just—I just there's like a different focus with the team I see this year, and like we're just really on our craft kind of thing. So uh, we're just really focused on just winning each game, dominating each practice to get that win for that weekend, and um, it's just really to see in the good to see in the guys. Is there any feeling when you finish off a team like Notre Dame in the environment that you had to play in? Yeah, we all get to, like just take a deep breath. Uh, that game's off <laughs> our shoulders just with the weather conditions. Uh, Notre Dame being number six, game day, all the distractions and everything. I guess you could say, but yeah, it's definitely lifted off of our shoulders. We get to take like step back and just take a deep breath, kind of thing. I think that's always going to happen. Uh, I mean, whenever we can run the ball, there's going to be opportunities for me and other receivers and other three backs to get the ball in space. And then whenever we can throw the ball, they're going to start covering us more, and then we're going to be able to run the ball. So I mean, it just goes both ways, hand to hand. How do you feel that you did blocking on Saturday night? Did you get a better game blocking? Uh, I think I did pretty solid. Uh, a couple plays I could have done better on, but for the most part, I feel like I did pretty good. Uh, no, sir. I just go out to practice every day and just try to the best of my ability, even if it's if it's skelly or it's inside run. Like I still go out there and practice to the best of my ability. Anything else, Jordan? All right. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, man.